Okay, uh, I'm gonna share my screen. Can you see the the screen now? Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to to resolve the exercise three from yesterday, the the one that uh, in, in which we want to display the list of programs. Okay. So first of all. Uh, you have to switch to the to the branch, and now when you're here, you go to the programs activity, which is that activity. You can find the exercise. So here uh, you have to do to get the program list. Okay, we're gonna remove it, and now uh, if we check in our emulator, we can go to the programs and see that no programs were found because we didn't uh, resolve the exercise. So now we are gonna resolve it. So first of all, we can uh, call to the SDK and then get D2. So if you remember the, this method, if you go to the, to the SDK class, We'll call the D2 manager, get D2, so you're gonna have the D2 class to start working. So now that we have the D2, we can access the module. Uh, we want to go to the program module. You, if you can see that we have a lot of modules here, you can see the aggregated module, the category module, and all the modules that are in D2. So we just want to go to the program module, so we select it. And then in the program module, we have a bunch of repositories. So we want to go to the program repository now because we want to get the programs. And then we can just call uh, the get. So if we get page and the exercise says that we want to page them 20 by 20. So we put here 20. And now, uh, and now we have the, the programs. So if we wanna see what happened, we can just relaunch the activity. Uh, then it, it will run a build. And after that, we should say here, yeah, all the programs. Uh, we have here all the programs. So now we're gonna uh, start the filtering. We're gonna use these two filters here. So after program, we can filter by, well, if you write by, you're gonna see all the filters that you have. By display name, by organization unit scope, by program type, organization unit list, by color, spray days, icon. You can filter it by almost all the properties. So uh, the exercise is telling you that you have to filter by program type. So we're gonna go to the program type and then call your so two equals. You can use equals in, not null. So th there is uh, some operators here, here. So the equal operator, and then we are gonna type with registration, which is what the exercise is telling you to do. Just filter by with registration. Uh, we're gonna add another filter here by uh, the scope, so you can find about writing. And then we're gonna add the scope. You can use the scope t-shirt, but also the scope data capture is required by the exercise. So now uh, we're gonna see if it's working. So we can click here to apply the changes. It will restart the activity. So if you wait for a few seconds, you are gonna see that the program without registration are gonna disappear. So now we are we have only like three three different programs. So also here, it's telling you to order the programs uh, by name, uh, A to C, but uh, that's the default. Um, 
is, is by the default, the programs are showing like, like that. So we are gonna do it in the, the other way just to see the changes. So order by display name, and then we can use the order by, the, by direction. We have here descending and ascending. We're gonna use now descending. It's the opposite that the exercise is telling you, but we are gonna do it that way. So again, we refresh the activity. And now this one should be the first one and the child program should be the last one. Yeah. So now we have the list of programs in the other direction. Uh, if for example, we want to remove the, the other, there are filters and add another new filter, we can just, for example, by display name, we're filtering by display name, like, and maybe we can write mal to uh, try to get the malaria programs. So if we filter now, after the synchronization, we'll see that here, only the malaria programs like the malaria focus investigation, um, yeah, it's here, malaria focus investigation, malaria case registration, and XX mal, because also right here in malaria case. So that's how we should resolve this exercise. Um, well, if you have any question, I'll be very happy to try to solve it. Have any questions so, so far? <clears throat> okay, if you don't have any question, uh, I think uh, we can move to Victor. Uh, yeah, make the next exercise. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. All yours. Okay. Um, so this. Okay, this session is about uh, more about uh, listing uh, in this case data in the under this app. Uh, this is about uh, searching tracked entity instances uh, because in the previous exercise we saw how to filter and display uh, metadata in in the Android app, and for metadata is yeah is always the same, you can filter, page is, is very generic and yeah, and once you have done with programs, uh, you can do the same for other things. Uh, in the case of data, uh, in some cases, data is quite, is, uh, has a few uh, things that are different to metadata. Um, and in this case, well, um, the target entity is a class or um, the target entity as endpoint in the API is something different, is an, is special. Uh, it allows you to filter by by other things. Uh, I mean, not just properties in the target entity instance class itself, but for example, if the instance has an enrollment or has an, an attribute of a particular type or the, the opening date of the enrollment, things like that. So it's, it's more complex. It's more complex than uh, a regular filter, let's say. Uh, so in the SDK, in the SDK in this repository, this, is, this functionality is both in the target entity instance collection repository, a query collection repository. Uh, so it allows to, yeah, to filter by, it, this, is, this is the same uh, as in the web API. So if you are familiar with the web API, uh, this will sound familiar to you. For example, you can filter by uh, by query, which means uh, search for a value across all the attributes in the TI, or you can filter by a particular value in a particular attribute. For example, instance whose first name uh, is John, for example, or instances that are enrolled in a particular program or with 
eh, en particular el Roman Day. Uh, <coughs> what is different in this uh, repository is that uh, it has the ability to, to fetch results online because um, we talk always that uh, how the, under, the, the, work, the typical workflow in the Android application is download the metadata and the data and then access uh, uh, the local database to show the results and work with the local data. In this case, uh, the SDK allows you to get results both locally and remote, in the remote uh, from, coming from the remote server. And you, co you can combine the, the results. Uh, this is important because, uh, for example, in large implementations with thousands of PIs, you don't want to download all of them in the device. Maybe you only want to download the uh, most recent PIs because they are more likely to be used in the device. And then if you want to access uh, another PI, uh, yeah, you can search online. So here, we, in this repository, we have four modes, offline only. It means only stored locally. Offline first. So it shows the local results, local PIs, the, the PIs fetch from the database in first place, and then it goes, uh, it gets more results from the web API, online only uh, and online first. And of course, for online only and online online first, you need an internet connection, a connection to the server. Well, so just like, uh, this is, I think, it, this is quite intuitive, but just uh, to show you a diagram about how it works. So we have uh, in the left side, we have the tracked entity instance query repository fit in by attribute, by program, whatever. And we apply the strategy of line first, which means uh, local result, results in first place, and then it goes to the web API. So the flow will be this will be done by DSTK, so DSTK will be get results from the database in first place, and then DSTK will query the API to get more results, results that are not included in the local database. Okay. Um, the syntax is is the same; it's very very similar to the syntax to access. Uh, other repository, and you have to access the D2 instance, track entity module, track entity instance query, and then filter by whatever you want. And the thing that is different is the method offline only, offline first, online only, online first that you you want to apply. And the get pages has this one. Okay, so. Let's do an exercise. So uh, first, uh, first of all, I, I would like to to show uh, the exercise um, for you to know uh, where uh, you can check that the result that, that your solution is fine. Um, so the first thing you have to do, uh, as usual, is to move to the to the branch, to the online. This is the exercise five. Sorry for that. Uh, actually, this is the four, but uh, we have to switch exercises. So this is the five a PI search. Check out. Okay. Uh, if you launch this branch. So here we have the skeleton app. I'm already logged in with the F0. So if you go to the left left side menu, the third entry is track entity search. You go there. This is a very, very simple form to query by any attribute you want. 
in any program you want by any value. So here we don't have any validation that this attribute belongs to the program. It's just a simple form to check the query endpoint. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, well, uh, before continue, uh, this branch, the branch exercise five C C I search, was included uh, yesterday afternoon. So probably you have to update the project. You need to come here, version control, and update project uh, because otherwise you are not going to see the branch. Okay. Um, so if you go here, you can, for example, select first name, type program, <clears throat> and look for John. For example, uh, if I click here, I, I can click, it's going to crash because the method is not implemented. So let's go to the code. Yeah. So I get entity instance search. <clears throat> so here we have this method. Uh, here we have to write the code very similar to the code that is in the slide. So uh, uh, take a look at that. And you have to use this information in the, in the parameters uh, to filter. Your, so you have to filter by this or unit uh, using the sentence mode. Uh, by this, the attribute, by this, by this program, by this attribute, and the attribute should be like this value. Okay. Uh, so what you have to do is to write the query. And one, once you have the query uh, and you return the this like data, the the, the page like data. If you go to the application and you perform any search, and you will be able to see the result in the list. So we go back here, exercise five. So uh, yeah, the recommendation to test, uh, to test the result is to search by first name, like John, uh, in the program child program. Because you, you have the I, I I can say that you have some results there. Um, and to try different modes. For example, you can try offline only in first place, then offline first, to see the differences, offline only, offline first. Try to do that and refresh the application. So, so yes, I think that's all from my side. Um, I think we can we can switch to break rooms unless 